so today's video is just going to be another one of those updates videos. So first of all I kind of want to get some quite upsetting news out of the way with first because I do want to keep this quite a positive video and I don't want to just make it all depressing and you know. So sadly Hazelnut did pass away a few days ago now. It was actually not last night but the night before, like during the night, he just passed away in his sleep. Now if you've been following me on my second channel, if you watched that, you will know that he got poorly, he had a respiratory infection and we treated him as soon as we could and did everything we possibly could to, you know, ensure he had the best possibility of getting better and, you know, we gave him antibiotics and tried to give him pain relief, tried to syringe feed him and make him comfortable and warm and do everything we possibly could. To be honest, I think it had just progressed too far by the time we got to him and even by the time I got to him and saw him, he had isolated himself from the others, he didn't want anything to do with them. I did separate him because I thought, you know, it is a high risk factor of passing on to the other gerbils and I'm, you know, so grateful that, I mean, so far they seem okay so I'm just hoping, you know, it's not got to them as well but I put it down to the fact that due to the temperature fluctuations at the minute it's so up and down and certain infections are more likely to occur when the weather is very hot and you know it's quite like humid and those sorts of things unfortunately fry with those temperatures. I'm trying so hard now to make sure the room's well ventilated. It's just so strange because I've always had three of them. Yeah, I do miss him and it doesn't feel right without three gerbils, but I'm not going to be getting any more gerbils. I don't think that's right. I think that would be a bit selfish of me just because I like having three. Um, these two have been together since they were born, I'm sure. We adopted them in... August 2014 I think so we've had the gerbils for over two years now he was at least two years old when he passed away and he was definitely a bit older than that I'm guessing like it's not a bad age for a gerbil they can live much longer than this I do like to think that I did give him a good life and everything so that's quite reassuring to me I think a lot of people ask me like how do you cope with the death of your animals and because the more animals you have obviously the more times they're going to pass away, you're going to experience that a lot more and I have been through this quite a lot of times now and though it doesn't really get that much easier, you kind of learn to cope with it better and I think, you know, although it seems like just upsetting that it's happened, you've got to accept it. So Chestnut, who is the dark brown one you see right here, he used to be very bossy and would always be basically humping Peanut, he would just be dominant and that was just his character because he was the boss gerbil basically and still is but what I've noticed is he's not being as dominant to Peanut, he's been a lot more caring and sort of looking after him which is really sweet and I'm so happy. They're sleeping in the same nest still and everything's as normal so I'm just hoping, you know, they continue to be like this. I would say, if anything, they're getting along better as Chestnut is not being quite as dominant and they are sleeping in the same nest and everything, which is all really positive. So I'm just really happy that they seem to be doing okay and that, you know, what's happened hasn't really affected them too much, which, yeah, I'm really happy about. Yeah, I just wanted to explain that I haven't been on YouTube for a while now and I know it's not been that long but for me it feels like ages. The main thing I care about is spreading my message of how to care for your animals to the best that you can and that is what I want to promote but I think lately my videos have not been quite as popular, people are sort of losing interest. I mean I'm sure that's not the case but I just feel like that with my main channel. I think my second channel is doing a lot better for the amount of subscribers I have. I'm getting just as many like likes and views and things and just comparing the two it's kind of made me want to take a break from my main channel which I have done and I'm wanting to sort of change things up a bit now. I'm wanting to kind of start a new schedule and be more organised seeing as I do have the time to upload a lot more often so hopefully that's some good news for you guys and I'm wanting to upload at least two videos a week, if not three. 
Um, three is quite a lot to do, but I think I can do it if I just put the time in. So let me know what days you would like me to upload and like the comment that gets the most likes, I'll try and see what I can do. Um, cause I can pretty much upload whenever but I don't know what suits all of you guys best and when you think the best time or schedule or how often even. Um, but yeah, I would say at least two videos a week and alongside that I've got my second channel so that will be additional videos and that's just vlogs so it's a lot easier to film them. The reason I was getting kind of stressed out with it as well is that I really compare myself to other channels and think that you know I want my videos to be the best and the best that I can make them and I get frustrated because I feel like sometimes they're just boring or not good enough and that's what stresses me out and makes me like lose motivation. I don't really have much motivation at the minute but I'm trying to work on that and I've just kind of felt a bit like I just didn't want to do it at all but you know I've come so far with it and I want to continue and keep growing it. I want to sort of go back to basics because I feel like I try and overcomplicate my videos a bit sometimes. Sometimes they go a bit more in depth than people need to know and it gets confusing and people get bored and I just want to go back to basics. Basic needs of different animals, how to clean them, care for them, hygiene tips, different diet facts and things, just real basic stuff and I feel like this is going to be a lot more well suited to my channel and I think people will enjoy that a lot more. I'm also planning on doing a lot more juggling hamster videos and how long have I been saying this for guys but really this is the time I'm going to start and so like I say if I do two videos a week I'll do one video on either rabbits or guinea pigs and another video on either gerbils or hamsters and I'll alternate the animal each week. So that's my plan, I'm not really sure if you guys will like that or not but that will ensure that I'm getting variety on my channel and hopefully I can please everyone this way. Now some of you guys probably don't know but I do have a hamster. I've had him for about a year and a half, maybe not quite but yeah and I've just not really ever got around to making videos on him. I do think this is because there is a lot of other hamster channels out there which are doing really well and you know their videos are really good but I'm going to try my best and I know I just wanted to say that my hamster care videos probably won't be as good as the others out there but I wanted to try and you know just share my experience sort of with owning hamsters and just share my thoughts and things. His name is Pingu if you haven't already seen the little nameplate here and he is a hybrid hamster. Now he's not the most tame hamster, he is very friendly but he likes to nibble so it's not easy for me to handle him but I am trying to do some taming with him so if you want to see a sort of taming diaries video then let me know and yeah I'm just going to go and get him a treat. Oh he's so cute. He's gonna try and escape now. Oh no, go back. Back in your cage. Oh no, he's gonna fall off. See, he just nips. Ow. So here is Pingu. Look how cute he is. And yeah, like I say, he does nibble, but I'm trying to work on that. See what we can do, hopefully. Soon I'll be able to stop him nibbling. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.